Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Some interesting silhouettes there in the background. More sky islands with towers on them. I'll want to go check those out someday. Alright, let's see then. What can I use? So I need to go up this rail. Because that's where I get to the snowy area. But I can't use a minecart because one of the rails is broken. I guess I don't need to go up the rail. I could just head through that archway right there. But it looks like going up the rail gets me closer to the shrine a bit faster. So... There's some hooks and some fans. And there's a flat wooden board on the other side of the gap. So if I go back over there. Pick it up. What are you doing? <laughs> Get back here! Okay, this is gonna take some timing. <laughs> Gotta hit that and then activate the power and grab that. You stop that, you silly mine card. Okay, are you gonna stay there? You look like you're kind of drifting slowly. You know what? I'm not even gonna leave you on the tracks. But you're right there, you won't move. Okay. So far so good. And uh no, not I'm still doing that left right button confusion business. Okay. Since it's going to be traveling up an incline, I think I'm going to want two fans. For the extra power, you know. Are you gonna get in the way? It kinda looks like the tree might get in the way. Boy, this is gonna be a rough ride. Well, not so bad. saw something over here to pick up. So where does the cold area start? 
Boy, it's further away than I thought. Portable pot, a Zonai device for cooking food almost any time, anywhere. It lasts for cooking one recipe only. The device is easier to use on flat surfaces. Okay. That was one thing about Breath of the Wild that could get a little irritating. Just not having anywhere to cook. If I had the Ascend ability, I could just go up to the top of that building and probably head on over. Huh. I really thought this was going to get me up into the snowy area. Apples. Any more? Just those two? Nope, there's another one. Let's see. Boink. Okay, where's the arrow? There's the arrow. Get the arrow first, and then the apple. Because otherwise, the arrow disappears. Hmm. I really thought this was the way into the snowy area. I was lied to okay hmm. yeah if only I had the ascend ability actually no that little that little uh, building isn't attached to the mountain over there so that actually wouldn't do me any good hmm. All right. Well, looks like this was a waste of my time. Well, no, that's not fair. I found a few interesting items. And yeah, lots of little islands out there in the distance. And some much bigger ones too. a wacky looking place. So is that. And some smaller ones over there. Actually, that one looks kind of big. It's just so far in the distance that it's... What? Oh, okay, that must be the bell from the Temple of Time to announce the changing of day to night. Huh. And what is that thing over there, that big boxy thing? I'll bet that's that really weird looking Minecraft type boss that they showed off in one of the trailers which is a, which was just a bunch of boxes basically glued together trying to bash Link and chances are you would use this power to basically take his pieces apart huh. ok 
Okay, is that water deep enough to just jump down into? Yes, it is. Try the gotcha machine again while we're here. Let's see, our robot friend over there said just drop this kind of stuff into the chute. <laughs> that looks like another cooking pot. Yeah. Where are they in my inventory? Hmm. No, seriously, where are they? Oh, there they are. Zoni devices, okay. Flame emitter and fans. All right, well, so that's going to be my way in right there. I have 33 minutes of warmth providing food. So when the time comes, I got to not waste any of that time and just run right on in. Just run straight up to the shrine. Let's see. The snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will swiftly lose vitality and may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? I think I'm all set. That is excellent news. The cold can be fatal for the unprepared. Sit by the fire until morning. Because I'm kind of tired. Or at least I assume Link is kind of tired been almost non-stop. And I'm sure that I saw another cave in here with one of those bubble spewing frog things. And when you kill it, one of those blue ghostly rabbit things comes out of it. Bloopies is what they're called, as I remember. down there really worth it? Uh, there's an ore rock and some of those light seeds. Uh, I don't know. Maybe later. For now, unless there's something more up here that I missed, I think I will just start heading up the snowy mountain. Ooh. A way out into the snow. Okay, where am I going? Oh, there's the shrine. It's pretty close. Relatively close. Okay. Let's get as far as I can. Oh, dear. get as far as I can before I use the uh, warming food. Oh dear. Okay, it takes half a heart. I can go half a heart more. The soldier constructs and captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the garden of time. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I'm terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. Go another half a heart. Okay, gotta do it now. Uh, let's 
see. Okay, it's all five heart minimum, so might as well go with this one. All right, I'm good to go. Uh oh, soldiers. Um, let's see. Uh, not that. This. Uh, let's try the the. Uh, this is a spear type thing, isn't it? No, it's not. Well, oh, darn it, that's not what I wanted to do. That went pretty quickly. Can't take any more weapons. Uh, Okay, let's just drop the tree branch. Uh, drop. Take the long stick. I might be able to use it to... Uh, fuse a good long weapon. get up there. Jeez, how do I get up there? Okay, there's a cave right there. Maybe that's the way up. It's up there. I saw it. So that's the way I have to go. The question, though, is... Ooh, um, what was I about to say? The question, though, is am I going the correct direction? These choo-choos are really helping me out. Oh, this one's coming for me. That's inconvenient. Um, I don't want to keep using arrows. What can I do to... Make them stronger. Where are those horns? And it has a fire emitter. I saw it. Flame emitter club. Boy, I have a whole bunch of fused weapons. I don't want to drop any of them. Okay, let's just drop the stick. Fine. Or better yet. Um. Now. No, let's. Fuse. Um, what, I can't take it apart? Humph. Okay, let's just drop the stick. What was I using again? This. Uh, I don't want to go down there, if I can help it. I want to go up there. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and try this cave. This might be the way up. Bottomless cave? What? Oh, one of these. Um. Bomb flowers, a dangerous flower that contains explosive elements does not mix well with fire or electricity unless the goal is to blow things up. I shall remember that. Where is it? Burning 
kind of low on arrows here. Okay, this is going up. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. Um, Let's go get that. Another bomb flower. Amber. Oh, okay. Oh! Well, blast it. Where am I going to come back up? Right where I fell. That's useful. Okay. I'm more than halfway done with that cold resistance item. What the heck is that? Um. Okay. That is not working. How do I do this? No, that's not working either. Okay, I'm just gonna go around it then. That works. That's fine. I don't even want to know. Maybe I could throw a bomb at it. Looks like it would snap up anything that came nearby. What the eep? That surprised me. Um, okay, let's give that a shot. Quickly take materials out of your inventory. Press up on the D-pad and hold. Use R stick to select. Take it. Get it. Boom. Boy, that didn't do very well. Look how look at his life meter. Wow. More bomb flowers? There they are. Um, how do I? Okay, so throw material. Select material from in your inventory to throw. Hold hold R, hold select material. Wait, this thing has a good bit of health. Like, like. Oh, that's a like, like. Okay. That's the, um, 
Tears of the Kingdom version of a like-like. Like-like stone, a strange round stone made from a from a like-like made of crystallized inner fluids. It's a good ingredient for elixirs. I almost don't want to take your word for that. Because, wow, yuck. Valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. Opal, huh? Contains the power of water. Okay. Well, now I know what those things are, at least. Another flame emitter. A flame emitter shield. <laughs> okay, where's the shrine? Am I gotten closer? Have I gotten closer? It's literally right up there. Maybe I should just climb here. But if I can go around, that would probably work better. What? Oh, those blasted things again. Or that blasted thing is just one of them. I don't really feel like tangling with it. Uh-oh, cold resistance is almost gone. I think I'm going to have to climb. Cold resistance is in fact gone. Icy vertical surfaces are slick and hard to climb. Oh dear. Uh, okay, I'm not too surprised by this. How do I get up there? Darn it. an idea. Can I make a de facto ladder by... Well, not with just one of them, obviously, but... Is this an idea that has any chance of working? Oh my god. What do you know about that? I've built myself a climbing surface. Ooh, peppers. And 
the shrine. Whoa, what's that? Gnarly looking tree. I could try to pull my climbing pole up and use it to get up there, but something tells me that wouldn't really work too well. Not very stable. But I might be able to make it a bit more stable. Okay, so... Two trunks is enough to get up there. So if I... Just uh, work it like so. wasn't close enough. Oh, go away, choo-choo. Oh, get smashed. Oh, no. Darn it. gotcha machine over there. And a fire. Hmm. That's kind of a funky looking spot. Oh! Those things down there, those look like the gliders that they showed us in all of those trailers. And the ghost is sitting next to them. Archaic Warm Greaves. Warm Greaves believed to be from a very long time ago. Despite the old, lo old look, the heat retaining material makes it pleasantly resistant to cold temperatures. Well, that's useful. Now when I run out of the food, I'll still be resisting the cold. And Looks like these things could take me straight back to the Temple of Time. Okay, Rauru. 
Got anything to say about this? Mm. The Zonai devices were the pinnacle of our technology. We built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many, many years. Oh. If you can master the use of Zonai devices, your quest will be much easier. I think I kind of got that already. It looks like I could fly almost straight to the Temple of Time with those gliders. Hmm. Well, I have something else I need to do first, so maybe we can look into that later. And that's a... Sh that giant tree stump is a shelter. I wonder if there's anything on top of it. Cold resistance, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, boom. I'm fine thanks to the new pair of trousers. And I find a Korok. What do you know? Poof. Of course I did. I found you. Because that's what I'm supposed to do in this game. Find Koroks. Okay. Boink. And boink. Well then, let's get this over with. Guten Tag. That sounds German. Made it to the last of the three shrines. Hooray! Let's get in and out of the cold. Throwing materials. Press up on the D-pad while holding down R. Pretty fast loading times. Too fast for me to see the uh, full tip. Oh. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. So what am I going to get from this one? Ah, that looks like a send. Move upward through solid material and emerge on top of it. Mm. This is the ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. Use ascend and receive the blessing from this shrine. It sure would have been useful in getting up here, which is probably why they gated it behind having to climb all the way. Okay, nothing back here. Okay, starting with the obvious one. Okay, I've already got a send. Already got a send turned on. Ooh. Now this is a tall one. Okay. It looked like there was a treasure chest up here. Stone Axe. Okay. And no. 
now? Ooh. Drop any arrows, did he? That's a shame. Whoa. First time it's ever shown me that. used by a captain construct. Though simply built, it's made of fireproof materials and won't catch fire as wooden bows do. On the other hand, I'll bet that a wooden bow won't get me zapped in the middle of a lightning storm, which is probably still a thing in this game, so I think I'll keep these wooden bows. like it. Hmm. Where does this thing stop? Come on, get moving. Is that it? Nothing else to get in here, perhaps? Doesn't look like it. Let's do a quick search around the back. Because you never know when they'll switch up the formula and hide something back there, but not this time. Place, yada yada yada. And the evil cleansing light. Be nice if they gave us enough to actually cleanse the whole thing, but I guess that would be too easy. The light of blessing, strength to seek, etc. Wear cold resistant clothing or use something more that warms your body when adventuring in cold regions. Okay, a new heat pop up. I see you've restored some power to that new arm of yours. Some mm. power? The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. The 
closed door. Rauru appeared after you visited the Three Shrines. He said that you've revitalized enough power in your new arm to enter the Temple of Time. The door will now open at the touch of your hand. Okay. Well then. Oh, my ladder disappeared. That's a fine how do you do. It looks like it can still go around the side. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. That's an icy wall. Can't climb those. Do I really have to go back the the long way? Huh. Okay, I wonder what's in all these things. Apple. And some arrows, okay. Oh, ten arrows. Eleven arrows. Alright, I needed some more arrows. Oh, of course, I can use Ascend to get up there. What am I thinking? I can use Ascend to get over there, too. No fans around here, it looks looks like, but I have some in my inventory. Hmm. Nothing over here. And yeah, there's a gotcha machine over there. Uh, and there's the uh, tolling of the temple bell. <laughs> Do you have something new to say? My maintenance duties are complete for today. It has been another cycle with no visitors. Oh? This is a rarity. It is unusual for me to receive visitors here. I assume you will require Zonai devices to descend the mountain. Would you like to use the device dispenser? Device dispenser. Same thing? Yes, I am manufacturing Zonai devices using this device dispenser. Do you see the bowl-like receptacle? Resources held in your hands can be deposited. Okay, yeah, it's exactly the same thing. The altitude here is incredibly high. It is no easy task to descend the mountain. That is why I am preparing wing-type Zonai devices. They are useful tools for making your descent. Zonai capsules are very convenient. They are a portable form of Zonai device that you can retrieve at any time. I suggest that you deposit resources in the device's dispenser before proceeding. I might as well do a little bit of that, see what I can get. It's not like the cold is any problem for me now. A wing. Hmm. A Zonai device that can harness lift to ride the wind. To fly further, try balancing on the center. Okay, so... I can just basically throw it out into the air and it'll glide? That would be useful. And then I can steer it by stepping left and right. 
and perhaps make it descend faster by stepping forward. get over there. Can I even get on that thing? Oh, that was close. Okay, let's try it. I have four fans. I can spare one. Clumsy, but it's getting me where I want to go, more or less. <laughs> Lots of spare zone I charges in these guys. Three wings, okay. I can harness lift. Does that mean I need an updraft? Okay. If I miss this jump, that's a long way down. like that. If I just sort of... Okay, that did kind of sort of glide. This feels really stupid, but I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'm going basically that direction. Um, all right. I could potentially put a whole bunch of fans on the back. Speaking of which, I used a fan over here, didn't I? And I could get it back, I imagine. And no, not 
Not ascend. Ultra hand. Waste not, want not. Getting really clumsy right now. How much thrust do I want? Let's try this. Um, come on, get there. That should do it. Not doing anything, okay. Well, hmm. Okay, I didn't think I'd be able to move it while I was standing on it, but still. How do I do this? Okay, I'm getting a little stumped. I mean, if I just throw it off the edge, it'll leave without me. <laughs> that won't do me much good. And just sticking a fan on it didn't help at all. Catch it. Just want to drop it. Now, this would be really stupid if it works, but. No, it's not working. I was thinking lift the one on the bottom while standing on top of the one on top. <laughs> and maybe that would cheat it, but no, that didn't do it. Hmm. Nah. I don't want to just throw it over the edge because, like I said, it'll just wing away without me. Okay, what did Raru say about this again? It wasn't Robert, it was that guy up there that said something about the gliders. <laughs> this 
this construct fella. Said something. The wing type Zonai devices are useful for making your descent. I suggest that you deposit resources in the device dispenser. No, that doesn't help. Is this thing important somehow? Would this give me the the uh, altitude? Would this push the wing up? Doesn't look important. Pa. Seriously, what am I supposed to do here? I would very much like to use one of these things to get down faster. Okay, that actually goes quite far. The problem, of course, is being on top of it when it leaves. <laughs> that way yeah 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 perfect almost perfect um help ouch is this a good place to be <laughs> okay well uh the glider got me here this is not a good place to be. Okay, where's the water? I want to fall into the water. Okay, that looks good. Um, all right. Uh, whew. That felt pretty close. Can I ascend? Not quite. The lily pad is sinking. Very slowly. Can 
I send up on that? That worked, uh, astonishingly well, in fact. And there's my glider. Alright, there might be a fight coming up. a bit of life power, but... Eh. <sighs> Let's get in there. one of the tiers of the kingdom here? Looks kind of big. During the intro section, Zelda found a much smaller one. It was kind of translucent. waiting for, Link. I wonder if that qualifies as finding Zelda for the quest. Recall. Okay. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement at any time. Hmm. So that's how we get that power. Ah, recall. The ability to reverse the mo movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. Hmm. What you just saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo, one that reflects her sheer will. Hmm. That you've now been given this ability, no doubt it will prove important. Gee, that's... Helpful, Rauru. Okay, in 
the Temple of Time, you approached an altar, and in a flash of light, you found yourself with Princess Zelda, that is, with some phantasmal floating version of her. She took your hand and gave you an ability to control time that's known as Recall. Now the Temple's deeper mysteries await you. Really? Well, I think I see where this is going. But it's going to be going there, so to speak, in the next episode because I'm out of time. Viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the next episode, we will go further into the Temple of Time and see what's what, I guess. Obviously, we're going to have to reverse time to make those wheels spin backwards so that we can use those platforms to get up. Yada, yada, yada. So, yeah, that's the plan for next episode, and I will see you then.